I thought, yeah, I know. I thought I had unscratchable lenses, but <laughs> I I'm guess sitting you here don't. two seconds before we start and trying to scrape the scratch off my lens. Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? You know, we're just coming in on the last second, like and always. <laughs> after after we specifically said we're going a little outside of our comfort zone tonight. Oh my, our camera's off a little bit too. I should just do that. Just do that. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, uh, after we even said, you know, we're going a little outside of our comfort zone tonight. We're doing a little something, a little bit different. Uh, not a lot different, but a little bit different. So we said, we're gonna make sure we sit down and, and we're prepared. And as usual, now we're crooked. Jeez, we Louise. There we go, all right. I'm still saying hello to people. Oh, look, I didn't say hi to Brian. <laughs> All right, we're, using, up, some, guys? we're hey. using some new tech tonight too. So let us know if you can hear us and if everything's working. Yeah, uh, let us working know. accordingly. Is our sound I'm okay? Seeing the 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 microphone yeah. gain looks like it's we, okay. We have some new mics so, tonight. Um, um, and last week you sported the glasses, and I just had the cheaters, the yes. the readers. But these are officially now the actual glasses. So I'm still getting used to them. They are bifocals. So. <sighs> We're gonna I, tell change, you. I tell you, we're going to change the name of the channel to How We Cruise with Old People. <laughs> Listen, when we picked How We Cruise, it was because <laughs> How We Cruise, How We Cruise with Kids, How We Cruise with Friends, How We, we Cruise this line, How We Cruise that line. We picked because we cruise how we cruise, but we cruise in many different ways. We figured it could travel with us. We could be How We Cruise with Old People. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, but yes, yeah, so it is another Sunday night. Um, it has been an interesting week in. In the cruise community, uh, there has been a lot of. When is it not? Really, I mean, most weeks, <laughs> there's I always know. some good stuff going on. Well, mom says both looking studious. studious. Mom, when have I never? When have I ever not been studious? Probably most of high school. I'm just. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've been, um, I've been a geek my whole life. <laughs> welcome to that club. Um, we'll do so a spreadsheet on. Uh, <laughs> on pupil distances and, and prescriptions and something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, oh, why anyway, does it say anyway. top chat? It's got to say live chat. So that way, in case anybody misbehaves, I see it. So no misbehaving, hopefully, in the last couple minutes there. So happy hey, what's Sunday, up? guys. Happy Sunday. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We OK, so you know we tend to roll with the flow. Mm -hmm. And we've done a couple different things with our lives. But I, I, one of the things that we wanted to do tonight is kind of just talk about everything that is going on in the cruise community we always kind of do it anyway and we thought that that's where we would go tonight but yeah so so here we are uh for those of you who heard your first time here uh this is julie i'm brian uh we're how we cruise uh we're slightly blinder than we were a few weeks ago and uh uh just as crazy and just as uh off off the hill so um i did get a video up guys if you didn't see it yet if you didn't check it out our day two on icon of the seas on the maiden voyage is up yes it is i got that up uh late late last night you were already in bed I but was. uh that is up and it was katie's birthday mm -hmm. and you know i i didn't think we had a ton of content but actually it came together really nice and a nice little wrapped up Package with a bow for Katie's birthday. Um, what we did that day, like we did some rock climbing, we went and did the water slides, we went to the pool, we saw the sexiest man contest. We it was a formal night, like so. Yeah, it's a nice little so there video. There were a lot of things. There, there a was. Lot of things there going was. On. So go check that out if you have not already, and drop us a comment and let us know if you liked it or not. But I'm but I'm seeing some, day three is coming up, and I'm that seeing, one's going to be a good one. I'm seeing some names in the chat here who have recently been on, on icon and I've recently seen them in some, in some videos. So, um, like, uh, you know, we could talk a little bit about icon tonight, but we want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the industry. So, uh, let's say hello to a, what happened there? Um, I'm laughing at Sheena, Sheena's comment. If you want to pull that oh, up, there you go. She said, great video, Julie. Um, she could read Katie's mind when she said that you didn't need to go back to milkshakes. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. Even uh, Brian and Kevin like chuckled and laughed too when they saw that. They're like, oh my goodness, like that was the Katie's best face ever was when she was like, mom. Like, <laughs> so she wanted to get a milk. We went to the dessert to check it out. We were going to go back to the milkshakes. Mm -hmm. Um, it was for her, part of her birthday treat was she could get a milkshake, but we hadn't had lunch yet. And I wanted them to actually have an actual lunch. 
So we were going to go back. Because suddenly we're concerned about proper I, diets and meals on a cruise you know, ship. So. No, you know. But We'll let her have <laughs> sprinkled ice cream for breakfast. But no, she Katie. can't have a deserted milkshake on her birthday before <laughs> noon, God forbid. Katie's face is like. <laughs> uh, it, it's really cute um we did go back if you notice though we did not go back that day so you'll have to stay tuned because i think it was actually day like four or five that we went back so you it, will it got, see us go back you will see the, the pictures end. um they were amazing milkshakes the kids did finish all of them but uh but yeah so we didn't go back day two or three so see. Have to stay but yeah, so uh, it, so if you were recently on Icon, I see a few in here. I see Larry, I see uh, Sharon at sea. Uh, if you guys were, if you guys tried deserted, let us know in the chat if uh, if if that was uh, if you like that. And uh, did you add the did you add the alcohol to the to the milkshake? And while we're waiting on that, and did we'll anybody bring their own shot to add the alcohol? Uh, that add the alcohol because if you get well, it no, there it's not like there's not just a bar right over at the base camp right by deserted that you that's what i mean use. you can go there if you have if you have a drink package or if you want to whatever like you, you you can go and i mean it's not encouraged you're not supposed to but anyway i don't know they uh, they they any alcohol that you get in the deserted milkshake is not included in your drink package if you have that so um Okay, uh, yeah, so the, the other good drink on the icon that uh, that we saw was the uh, – we didn't get a chance to try this one, but Richard said that uh, – we and we saw this in uh, uh, Sharon, Sharon and Jamie's video earlier, the toasted marshmallow old-fashioned. Oh, that's so really good. And I love I love when she was, like, toasting to the marshmallows, that. like, mm -hmm. back behind the bar. <laughs> Jamie was making a comment, like, she's doing it back there. She's not doing it by yeah. in front of everybody. But uh, it looked really good. Speaking of fire on a I wanted ship, you to try the one at, up at um, the Ryan Bean. They had like some very, it wasn't the twisted marshmallow. It was a different listen, one. Listen, And so, you didn't right, want to try it. Let me explain this to you. And I don't me, like no, bourbon out. and whiskeys, no. but like I actually wanted you to get it so I could try it. The drink is made with Woodford. <laughs> you don't mix Woodford. Woodford is served either in a glass. If you want to mix anything with Woodford, it's like one ice cube. That's about it. Like that's like that's the extent of mixing with Woodford. Like that's the that's where I draw the line. Anything beyond there, you're just ruining the bourbon. Whatever. I um, I actually so since so, uh, Jamie and Sharon are in here, and since since we're talking about their they guys, if you have not seen their video that they posted today. Uh, go check it out. It is their um, stay and watch us first, and, and then go check it out. <laughs> but uh, their their bar tour, and I gotta say, I was really feeling Sharon. Yeah. Like she was just like making her own drinks everywhere she went. So that is that is, I am feeling that. That is my that I, that is that is the way to go. So 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 okay. So Shanna says, "Don't hate me. I do have." Uh, uh, a lux, a little lux, a cherry in my Woodford ride. Okay, that's you know that I mean that's if you're if you're making I mean that's fine. We'll we'll let that one slide, um, for now. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin says, "Sorry, I'm late." Was looking at cruises and lost track of time. You know, uh, Kev. Well, hold on. We'll excuse that one too, uh, because as, as travel agents, um. We we want you looking at cruises. And, That's true. Um, if you if you don't know yeah. what cruise you should be looking at, um, we're going to get this out of the way right up front here. Um, we'll show this one here because we definitely have a good deal on this one right now. Because if you want to book cruises, you got to book far in advance. And it's the way to go now. Just to be There's very no clear, more last minute deals, guys. This rare, is, few and far between. You can find them, but don't don't rely on it. Our next group cruise is on Freedom of the Seas. This is not the ship that was just on fire. <laughs> Other line, because we're going to be talking about that. But this is this is a this is a good ship. It's a six day sailing out of Fort Lauderdale with us um, in November of 2024, and uh, I believe I mentioned Freedom in our seas. Facebook group that if anybody's looking for connecting cabins, we have like there was a cancellation, and I can get you into those rooms, but. Oh. I know we need somebody. If, if anybody need somebody needs wants, two next door to each other, mm -hmm. like that was a, that was those are great rooms. The last, okay, the last so one there's gonna if be you have a, a, so. a, a forfer, 
Mm-hmm. A fourfer? <laughs> yeah, a fourfer. A fourfer. Yep. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Will G is here. No other comments. Nancy, hello, hello, Will hello, G. hello, hello. Uh, I already said hello Will to Will G Larry. had a comment. He had a comment. Where's my phone? Oh, keep going. Sorry. Oh, on the, on the, on the. On yeah, the... on YouTube. I, 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 I didn't get to it yet. I saw it, but I didn't yes, get to Nancy, it. Yes, Nancy, LOL. Freedom of the oh, Seas is a different is... ship than the Carnival Freedom. Different yes, different. very different. Very how different. long is the Wizard of Oz show? It's about 90 minutes. It was about an hour and a half. It felt so much faster I, I'll, I'll for reply, me. I'll reply. On YouTube, it, but, it um, felt so much faster for me. So anybody that watched our video, like, <laughs> there's a lot of editing there. I was like rolling my eyes so bad at Brian. He's like, "Well, I slept through it." I'm like, "Are you kidding me? That was such an it amazing was a, it was show. A, it, it was, was a great so show. good." And to be fair, I <laughs> I think it has been every single show on just about every cruise we have ever been on. But I guess that sometimes I do. I have too. fallen asleep, and it's not. And I don't want to because I really enjoy the shows. But it has um... nothing to do with the quality of the performance. It has nothing to do with the the entertainment value of the show. Um, I, I remember we were on we were on on um, on the vloggers extravaganza. And we're we're in break. We were sitting next to to Mike and Maria, and we were watching six. Yeah. And when the show ended, Mike turns <laughs> to me and he goes, "Wasn't that a great show?" And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like nudging him so he's not snoring. Oh, oh boy, yes. guys. I tell oh, you. Boy, oh, boy. We, we, we were on um, Anthem. I have a picture of you and a few others all oh, with your eyes closed. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Come on. Anyway. Um, it, <laughs> oh, well, oh, okay. Anyway. Richard, uh, very good observation. So Richard in another life is actually a detective. Uh, and Richard wanted to know why the countdown went from 231 days to 117 days in no. only a week. Are you taking me away? You didn't tell me? I'm just kidding. You can't I've do played. that joke when you book it. <laughs> I can. I can and I did. <laughs> All um, right. So anyway. So yes, so we will be traveling in 117 days. Um, Are we going to be on a cruise? uh, That one, we will be on a cruise. So uh, for anybody who's paying attention to the new sailings for Royal Caribbean, the Utopia of the Seas will be leaving from Port Canaveral. Yep. Got to make sure I get my ports right. Leaving from Port Canaveral on July the 19th of 2024, which was supposed to be July 22nd. Yes. Of 2004. Now it's still leaving on July 22nd of 2024. But they moved it up. They they but moved they it up. Added a three day sailing. Now Utopia is three and four day sailing, so it yes. alternates three day, four day, three day, four day, three day, four day. So it was the initial maiden voyage was going to be a four day sailing. They added a three day before that, and now it leaves. What's the date? July. The new date is July 19th. 19th. Yeah, that's right. So the day after my birthday, Happy we, will birthday. Be, we will be leaving on the Utopia of the Seas. Don't say I didn't get you anything. The inaugural. Uh, Taking so, you on a cruise. So yes, so that, but that is not our next travel. No, no. Our next. I'm trip. excited though for a to- Utopia. Let's come back to that. We'll but if you want, to okay, we you want to talk of, about? We got a lot can, of stuff going. You on. You can talk about our but next travel. But we have a question, and it's relative to our group cruise, and it's relative to what we're talking about tonight. So we're going to go right to it. Okay. Okay. So. Nancy's question is, um, is Labadee going to be open for our cruise in November? You know, Nancy, I don't know. I, I don't know. If I had to wager, I wouldn't be putting money down on this one. I mean, I, I don't I don't know. I, I say we go anyway. On the cruise? No, to Labadee. <laughs> sure. Uh, we'll, but... go, we'll, go, we'll go even though it's closed. Okay, How, you, you're gonna jump ship? No, well, I mean, listen, it's, we'll like we'll like maybe seal it. We'll we'll take some we'll take some anyway, floating anyway, boats. Anyway, I don't know if it's we'll... gonna be open, but we are definitely gonna be on. Uh, we're you know what? We're definitely sailing. We're definitely mm-hmm. going. We do know that the ships are diverting to either Coco Key, um, Coco Key, or other ports. Uh, there have been some other islands that they have been um, going to. Or they've just been spending an extra day at sea. So all of the above are options. I am fine with 
any of the above. Uh, so, because ultimately, you know what? We're out, we're away. We're on a cruise. We're on a great ship, and we wish the best for Haiti. We wish the best for for Labadee, but we'll, we'll definitely miss it because I've never been there. I really want to go there. Yeah, no, me um, too. Well, and and it's very funny because but, and and not to not to keep clicking on Nancy's comments here, but uh, uh, she says, "I know you'll have a blast no that, matter what." But rerouted yeah. plenty, and I was going to make the point that the last time we were rerouted was on the vloggers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to go to another private destination that we've never been to. We wanted to go to Harvest Key, which is Norwegian's yeah. private area in Honduras, Belize, mm -hmm. Honduras, Belize, Belize, Belize. And um, it ended up being a really good day at sea. And that was a lot of fun. Coop soup. Coop soup. Coop soup. Yeah. Uh, Richard says, uh, if I lead the way into Labadee, he'll be right behind me. Um, I don't know if I believe you. But um, I'll take your word for it, <laughs> and, and we'll storm. We'll storm the beaches. I hope we get to go. If not, I'm okay with going anywhere else. And mm -hmm. otherwise, if it's a day at sea, that'll be awesome. Also, so guys, no matter what, we're gonna have a great time. So Mary Ellen says, "I hope they divert us to Coco Cay." Now we've been to Coco Cay yeah, a bunch. We love, we love Coco, Coco Cay. I would not mind being diverted to Coco Cay. Never. We have now. We have heard so the options that have been thrown out in the last so. The, the sailings that were already at sea, and here's we're gonna, we're gonna kind of get into our little bit of a topic here, like not a not a news channel, but we're doing our best There's here. Nothing wrong with news channels. But, we like the news channels. Oh, we're just not. We're not as good at it as some of the other ones are. We just like to talk about. This it. is true. Um, this is true. That's why we stick to what we know. Right, but well, um, <laughs> my kids. Kevin, I dated a girl named Rerouted. I never knew where she was going. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, Mary Ellen's never been to Coco Cay. Um, oh, so if, Mary Ellen. So if oh. we get rerouted to Coco Cay, don't I worry. I hope that the first are, time that you're at Coco Cay, we get to be with you. So we it are. Is, we love that. And, and there are some in this chat that can vouch for us. We, we have a pretty good game plan at Coco Cay. And now with the new Hideaway Beach being open at Coco Cay, um, it has made our plan of attack on Coco Cay even better. Um, yeah, because it so, spreads the crowd okay. out. Okay, I would. Bit. I, I let's let's talk about that for a minute because that's new. So hideaway on Coco Cay is the new adults only section of Coco Cay. They do charge a fee to go there. They do. Um, I'm not sure. We haven't been there. We have not no. checked it out. I, from what I've watched, what I've seen, I'm not itching. I'm not like dying to go check it out. I I want to check no. it out just for the fact of saying that I experienced it, but like, this is not on my bucket list. This is not high on my priority list. I, I don't need to get there or go there, but I am happy that they have it because like you said, it does thin the crowd out a little bit. It does like kind of pull the people who don't want to be, who uh, more seats let me available rephrase. at the swim up bar at the Oasis Lagoon. <laughs> the people who want to be in an adults only area are going to go there, which is awesome. I don't know how I feel about them charging for the adults only area on the private island. I feel like you should be able to go there if you're an adult and just go. Like, it's I mean, but everything's about making money. I guess, but every if there's if there's if there's a. I mean, like, a, are they going to start charging for the adults only section on the ship too? I mean, like, think about that for a minute. Ah, uh, well, there's other lines that do that. You're right. There are sections, but I think that there's also adults only areas that aren't charged for. Remind me the name of the uh area on Norwegian that's an extra charge. The um don't do this to me right now because I have it in the top of my Some, tip, well, tip of my tongue. Our, our friends will help us. Somebody in the chat will remind no, us. It's where's the, uh, where's our Norwegian experts? Where's Daniel they, Shields? That's what, that was that, just that was that's that wasn't what I was thinking about. Oh, what are you thinking hmm. about? The Havens are just sweet, though. It's not uh, Larry sweet. says, but no, I think the Haven, though, even I think you have to be sixteen and up vibe. to even be. Thank you, Scott. vibe. Thank you. Yes, it is vibe. Yes, we would yes. have gotten the there eventually, pass. but you get a bypass. Uh, yeah, uh, but um, Larry says the Hideaway dropped to twenty nine dollars on their icon. Now we noticed that the prices on a lot of the stuff on icon dropped. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. Vibe Beach Club. Uh, yeah. Kathy Curry says Princess charges for Serenity. That's true. They do. Yes, they do. Um, Eddie yeah. Lugo. Eddie Lugo, welcome in, buddy. Uh, I'll, up, I'll keep, says I'll yo, keep yo, the yo. seats warm at the MDR while you guys go into Labadee. <laughs> um, does that mean you're? Does that mean you're coming with us there, Eddie? I my phone's not ringing. I, we gotta. We, we have to get your book. Um, let's see. 
Uh, Kevin says if they charge for the adults only area, they can sh be sure that only adults are going in there age wise. At least that's, that's true. true. But you know what though? They could have like a thing where they, they scan your C pass. I mean, it's the private Island anyway. It's not like you don't have your C pass on you. You have to have it off because you get off the ship. Just have like a thing where you have to go through and they have to scan the pass. Cause they don't scan it on the ship. Like there is, like whether if you're in the no. uh, solarium or if you're in the hideaway on the ship, they don't scan anything. They don't double check to make sure. So while I'm with you, I think that if it is adult only, it should truly be adult only. They should be scanning. Uh, I missed this comment, but I, I got to throw this up there. Sharon and C says, on a positive note, we were told the hideaway beach pool is heated, whereas the Oasis Lagoon last week was freezing cold. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't freezing cold by the time y'all left that. <laughs> Just saying, I've cruised with you guys before, and that's just just saying. <coughs> Hideaway beach pool is heated. That's true mm -hmm. because I think they said that they keep it at like almost like a steady 80, like 80, 80, 80 degrees or something. Degrees. Yeah, um, but Oasis Lagoon is not heated, so that's correct. It, it is a little bit chilly uh, there, especially this time of year. Scott says um, he went on Bolt when it was only when it was fifteen dollars for one lap. That's uh, I think you get two laps. You now. get two laps now, yeah. And I actually got like an extra two in when I actually I got an extra four when I went. Because here's the thing about Bolt. When I went with the kids, um, Katie wasn't tall enough, so you took her away. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I wait, went, hold on a second. So I took Katie away on Bolt, and then on the Anthem Group Cruise, I ended up with all the kids at the rock wall. Like, I'm seeing a trend here. Hey. What did I say? Anyway, I go up to Bolt, and do you know if they're under, I think it's 13. If they're under 13, they won't let you ride without an adult. So I went out with Brian and Kevin, and they're both under 13. So I, they're like, well, they need somebody else to ride with them. So they, they charged me once, but I rode with Brian, and then they're like, okay, well, just ride again with Kevin. So I rode again with Kevin. And by the way, I didn't get in the front either time. I didn't get the, well, didn't get the controls. But anyway, but when I was on it with, I think when I was on it with Brian, it like broke down. It, they had an issue. So we actually had to do like an extra two loops. So like, can I tell you, I went on that thing like seven times. <laughs> and and I, I get like motion sickness. So for me, it was like. Ooh. Shana says, great daddy daughter bonding time. Well, that's what we have to yeah. do because our school had the, the daddy daughter dance last week and Katie wanted to go with mommy and wouldn't dance with me. So. But we both went. Yes. Uh, Someone special dance. Mom Nancy, and dad both went with Kevin and Katie. And Brian went to the later one, the older kids dance. And, you know, good times. Nancy says she was impressed that you did the rock wall. Nancy, I saw your comment. <laughs> um, I <laughs> I tried so hard, man. I did not make it very far. And I think it looks like I went even further up on the video than I actually did. I made it like, like two steps. And I really like it. This is not a promising comment. Nancy says kids are a lot of work. When do they start paying off? Now, knowing how much older her kids are than our kids, um, yeah. I'll just be right over here. <laughs> no, but the rock wall was fun. I have mm. never, the last time you did it, um, that we were on a cruise, I could, I had a broken toe. So yes. there was no, no chance I was doing it. So I really wanted to try it. It was a lot of fun. I, my comment was very sincere. I did enjoy it. It was fun. I'm glad that I did it, but I was not very good at it. And I, I did not make it very far. Up. Now on Anthem, I did not do the rock wall. I just held everybody's stuff. But on, on Oasis, the last time we were on, now I used to do a little bit of rock climbing, a little bit of sport climbing, a little bit of not much outdoor, but a lot of indoor sport climbing. And it used to be like what I would do for exercise. And I tell you, I got about... 10 feet up that wall and I glanced over my shoulder and, and I freaked. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Nope. I was a little this, scared when this, I let go. Even though I was enough. only like three or four feet <laughs> off the ground. When I let go, I was like, Ooh, wow. But, um, it's a good time. It's, mm. it's good. It's so, good fun. so if you're, if you're now afraid of heights, does that mean if we do get to go to Labadee, you're not going to do the, uh, the dragon coast? No, I definitely want to do what that. What about one? the zip line? What are you gonna I do? don't, I, I've never wanted to zip line. I have no desire to zip line, guys. I mean, I guess there's going to be a day or a time that we probably do it, but the kids want to do it or all the places that we go. But I don't have any burning desire to zip line. What do you guys think? Who's out there in the chat? Like, who's done zip lining? Who's... Have you zip lined? Do you want to zip line? Did you love zip lining? Do you not want to zip line? 
me, like I have no burning desire. I, I I haven't even done it on like an Oasis class ship, like over the whatever. Um, the closest that came to zip lining was I I did do the um the ropes course on the celebration that goes out a, a little bit, kind of like um, Icon does, where it kind of goes out a little bit, like goes out around the side of the ship. I, that's the closest I've come to zip lining. And I didn't like that. <laughs> uh, lots of comments on the zip. Looks like we are the last. So Kathy says the zip line is great in Belize. Uh, mom's, mom, a, mom's a zip line. I zip and love it. Mom, when have you zip lined? <laughs> Apparently, there's a whole side to your mother that we don't that we're not aware of. Uh, <laughs> Nancy says the zip line is awesome. And we saw Nancy's video. Nancy's got a video on, I believe it's Amber Cove where her and Sarah does zip line for about like four hours straight. I think it is. It's just back and forth. Uh, Matt says, absolutely not. Uh, sugar's all about the zip line. Uh, let's see. Larry says he zip lined on a lure and is now retired. Well, we're going to have to bring you out of retirement there, Larry. Um, uh, let's see. Old and fragile. No. Ooh, uh, Shares uh, zip lines no. for us. We are too old and no fragile. Uh, negative. Um, <laughs> Shana says, I've zip lined in Belize and on Oasis and probably won't do it again. Ropes, I would try again. Uh, Alice loves the zip line. I do like the ropes courses. Um, I, li I like them. Although I'm not going to pay $89 or $87 or even $39 now, on Oasis we, to do now, that. Little we had whatever. a conversation about this. Nancy says, I still haven't given up on ice skating. Now, what if... Hear me out now. Freedom of the Seas does have an ice rink. They do. What if we all get on at the same time and we have a little hockey game? I mean, that sounds great, but I think you're going to have to haggle with the... Uh... We'll pull some strings. Okay. I'm, I'm in. We'll make some calls. Guys, I can't skate for anything. I'm a horrible skater. I'm the only one in our family who can't skate. Katie's a phenomenal skater. Kevin and Brian are great. I mean, they're hockey players. We just had our hockey ba banquet mm -hmm. on Friday night. Um, it was a lot of fun. And they had a great team this year. They did so good, guys. It just so, I mean, they didn't have a, a, a winning season, but it didn't matter. They had what fun. And this guy so, right here, he coaches. You are a phenomenal skater. Brian, if you guys have not seen Brian on skates, I'm going to have to post. Okay, I'm going to post a picture or a video of Brian skating on our community page. I'll do that. If I don't do it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow morning. And wait till you guys see him skate. Like, he's crazy. John said he'll do it. But that means he you He skates better than but he John, walks. that means you've got to <laughs> book November 1st. So Is Larry in here? Larry's here. Yeah, Larry's I, I here. think I saw him in here La earlier. Larry's, Larry's, Larry's coaching, guy too. Larry's coaching yeah, record is a little better than my record. Um, yeah, we, we didn't have I do have the... But that's okay. You I had do fun. Have, Did you have fun? Yeah. The Did kids, you teach the kids something? I, I think... Well, they need to learn a little more discipline, but yeah. Um, uh, Kevin says it's he's not allowed to skate anymore. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Shane, I'm do you make skater. quad ice skates? We'll do skating lessons. You'll be fine. Um, <clears throat> Chris says no ropes for me, but he did try the zip line on Harmony. Uh, you got a zip line on your next ship, I think, coming up. Yes. Um, Mom says I've never played ice hockey, but what the hell? John says, I've seen Brian. I, skate. I, I, yeah, he's a good <laughs> skater. Uh, <laughs> is Brian skating a sparkling? Room? No, but Katie did do figure skating for a while. <laughs> uh, Sugar says, I can't skate, but I can roller skate. Now, you know what? The quantum class ships do have the, the I'm, roller I'm skating. I'm pretty darn sure that's Jamie. Jamie, I think that I should get Brian a sparkling onesie to skate on the, on the ship. You know? <laughs> I was supposed to say what the <laughs> heck. I, apologies, apologies. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me, Father. Um, let's see. Uh, Chris says I, my ankle turned sideways. So we're we're not doing a very good job about talking about cruising. I, we but haven't that's even okay. started talking about cruising yet. Cruising um, news, guys. Um, but, but I think we've got some people interested in a hockey game on Freedom of the I Seas. Think that that's what be, I think. And and dude, we will if we if we can get that going, now we will we did, definitely go live. We did. I think that with my skating ability, I think I should be the one filming. We did find out. Um, now, Mike, who's the cruise director on the Icon of the Seas, yep. uh, said that they he's now he's from Canada, and they did 
say that Royal Who, Caribbean. He comes out on the ice on skates. Mm -hmm. So like he he's legit. Like he, he said that they actually used to have an employee hockey game um on the Oasis class ships when they first came out and the Freedom class ships when they first came out with the hockey with the ice ranks. And uh they did that until somebody got hurt and then Royal Caribbean shut it down. So yeah. Um you know he was a I, police officer? I did know that. He he was a cruise director, left and went and became a police officer, and then went back and became a cruise director again. Pretty cool. And, so, so and there, he can skate. So. so there's so there's hope for me yet. Um <laughs> we shall see. Um, but yeah, so it's it's been a busy week. Um we we want to get some more people booked. I mean, the biggest news of the week. Oh, look at that. Oh, <clears throat> Hello, Rob. Hello, Rob says hi from Hawaii on the Discovery Princess. Awesome. Uh, we're talking about ice skating right now, Rob. So just stand by. We'll get around to something that's appropriate to you because I don't think there's any ice in Hawaii right now. So. <laughs> um, but no, but you know, the, the biggest news of all the cruise news this week is that we do have those two cabins available connecting on yeah. on, the, on the Freedom Group cruise. So yeah. if if you do need if you're that in was, need that, that that's a great if great you're in deal, need man. of a if you're in need of a two connected double cabins for the group cruise. Yeah, please, they're please. next to each other. We can open up balconies. You're good. No, it's not. It's and they're con connecting. It's, it's connected ocean views. Oh, they're, they're not they're balconies. Not okay, sorry. They're connected balconies, ocean views. But, connected um, ocean views to the balcony. Yes, Rob says, how about shaved not ice? Balconies. Yes, go get us some shaved ice. Um, uh -huh. But um, no, but ice. those rooms are, they're connected, and North it's, both, it's both rooms for under 2500 bucks. So Both um, rooms. Yes. Four you, people, two and two. Yeah, it's a great deal. So, uh, and, I mean, great company, just saying. Yeah. So, we're likely probably not going to Labadee. But we'll go someplace else fun. Well, we don't know yet. It's too, know. it's too far away. If we go there, we'll be safe. And if we don't go there, we're going to go somewhere fun or we're going to have an amazing day at sea. So, um, but let's, so. But our, one of the places we could end up is we could end up at Cook OK. We could. And that's a private island. So there's been a lot of, a lot of talk about private islands this week. Yep. Not, so you've got two announcements on the Royal Caribbean side and you've got one announcement on the carnival side now carnival is really hyping up their um <laughs> mom says call dad on freedom um we're not going to do that mom because he'll say no so we're going to call you <laughs> um and sugar wants to know what i, is I have out his it's card number i can of, just book it <laughs> it's coming out of fort lauderdale sugar that's going to be going out of fort lauderdale out of fort lauderdale yeah you're gonna love that so um so so let's okay so I'm going to bring it around our topic tonight. Cause you guys know, we typically have a topic, although we've gone a long time tonight with just chatting with you guys, which has been a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Um, we want to kind of review what's been going on this week. So, I mean, I did have a little poll going on in our community group to see what you guys were thinking about this week. And the number one was most people were saying, okay, carnivals on, we kind of mentioned this earlier. 20, it's, Hold on, I'm sorry. Kev, it's like 24-something, 24, 24. For both. Plus. Yes, for both. Total. Not total, one, total. for two. So it's uh, it's double occupancy in both. So it's only, you can't do like a three four or four. It's two people and two people, but they're ocean views and they are connecting cabins. So anyway. I'm sorry, back to your point. Um, <laughs> Most people want to talk about carnivals on fire again. I mean, it happens. I mean, you know, you're just, you're cruising down, so, you're cruising through the sea, and next thing you know, boom, your funnel's on fire. I mean, it happens. It, it's just. I mean, it, it it happened like a, was it like a year ago? I don't know. When, I, I should have looked up the date when the last it time it happened. Last it, was, year. it was not long ago. And now it's on fire again. And they say, they say lightning hit it. I mean, I, sure. It It's possible. Well, even if it did. Okay, so it's one of two things. Either lightning didn't hit it, and that's an excuse. <laughs> or yeah. two, lightning hit it, and that ship is doomed. Well, Either way, I don't Shana think I want says, to... poor Carnival Freedom. <laughs> I don't think I want to go on the Carnival Freedom. So to be clear, and we said it before, <laughs> Freedom of the Seas, fun group cruise, hockey game, us, Carnival Freedom, currently on fire. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, love Carnival, love their ships, but it... it, it you know, it is pretty ironic that the ship caught fire, the, the tail caught fire twice within like a year or two. I mean, 
Nancy says, I kind of want to test the fates. I, I hear there's a fire sale going on. Um, hey, you know what, though? If the price is right. <laughs> Rob says, I'm going to start calling it the carnival candle and not the funnel. <laughs> uh, it, it's and great. So, it's great for birthday so parties. It, it, um, it, just it, up on the Lido deck. You can... They were at sea when it happened. Like they were out mm -hmm. and then it, it was on fire and like part of the funnel fell to deck 10. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. Now, because thank God, because there was another tragic thing that happened this week, and and I'm gonna get on a serious note here. Um, <laughs> but while you're chuckling, I'll, I'll wait to go on the serious note. <laughs> um, no, I beat her to that. Yeah. Uh, and and Tony, so we 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 start we start talking Lightning about carnival twice, now. right? Uh, <laughs> Tony just tells me God. Listen, hey. God loves everyone equally. Um. And, and no, but no, but seriously, though, no, on a on a serious note, guys, it was Holland America, right? Well, before you get to Holland America, I do want to just finish off that John Heal did announce a few hours ago that on the Carnival Freedom is they are suspending the next two sailings. Yes. They are the next two. They're gonna they're gonna take some time uh to to make sure the ship is set. They said it caused a little more damage than they expected. Uh, but they're going to try and fix that. I but, mean, yeah. Um, fire. But it wasn't the only ship that had For some damage this week. Um, you said there wasn't some damage yeah. on another ship. So we're talking Holland America right now. So, um, yeah, they had a really tragic incident that actually they were they were in port. They were at Great Stirrup Key, right? Their private island. Oh, uh, no. Half Moon Key. Half Moon Key. Sorry. 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 Uh, Half Moon Key. And... Um, they they lost two crew members. They they passed away uh, due to a tragic incident with the. Um, All they're saying is that it was an engineering, engineering incident. Engineering um, incident. There's, so there's we, a few we've heard a couple speculations. Rumors. We've heard a couple things that may have caused it, but uh, they are you know they said that they're providing counseling to the other crew members. I mean th this was tragic. This was really sad. Uh, unfortunately, this does you know happen occasionally but one thing that that we learned um a while back actually is the uh um at, from our church father charles is actually one of the one of the he'll go as the chaplain on holland mm -hmm. america cruises and he said he's been on uh holland america and has, he's had to perform funeral services for 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 crew on on when it's happened so yeah uh, unfortunately fortunately <laughs> it's it's few and far between unfortunately yeah, it that. does happen I mean, uh kevin says steam explosion is serious not sure if they have boilers on the ship it's very sad yeah we heard that we heard it could have been similar. a steam steam explosion uh passengers reported hearing some explosions but uh the ship is intact the ship is safe yeah. Um, unfortunately, yeah. those two, but we don't have any confirmed stories, so we just no. know that we, the only thing confirms that they did lose two crew, member, crew members, and uh, they're they're you know, but that but those two were not the only, and they're two, treating it seriously. So, those were not the only two ships that had an issue this week. There no. was a third ship that had an issue this week. Oh, I think you're gonna do it. No, go ahead. Oh, no, so the brilliance of the seas, uh, which is. One of Royal Caribbean's older, smaller ships, which is now sailing in the South Pacific. Uh, they had a propulsion issue, uh, which if any of you were with us on the uh, Anthem of the Seas, is sounding very similar. Uh, and unfortunately, they're going to be missing a couple ports and they're limping it back to Sydney. Uh, and they're going to do some do some repairs down there. And uh, they're yeah. they're they're going to be uh, <clears throat> missing some some cruise time also. Um, Fortunately, when we were on Anthem and they had the propulsion <coughs> issue, we didn't. Yeah. All we missed was Nassau. Um, but the good news of that is, if you stick with us for group cruises, uh, you'll be able that to was, get back to Nassau. That was like an eleven night sailing too. So I was like, a they long were halfway time. through it. They were halfway yeah. through it when it went down. So they're uh, they're they're floating back to uh, to Sydney. And I, I think that they're being compensated, but. Yes. You know, oh, we don't know what or Tony said we don't, crew we don't members are rolling her back to Sydney. Yes. Yeah. Uh the there's three guys out behind the ship with uh with little floaties and they're pushing it and they're kicking. And, they got uh, really big oars. <laughs> <laughs> um they told they told passengers they have to take uh they have to take turns and yeah. anybody with a balcony is gonna be out there <clears> rowing. <throat> yes, Chris, another flat tire. It's exactly what I was referring to. Thank you for chiming flat, in with that. Flat tire cruise. We never made those shirts. We should have made know, those shirts. No, we do. We need to do that. Uh the flat We're tire. Do that. Flat tire cruise. Flat tire cruise. Oh, uh, for sure. Um, so 
Okay. So, I mean, where's Royal, have, where, so where's Royal Caribbean buying their their propulsion systems from? Maybe they <laughs> maybe we should go into the Azapod business. Maybe we can make some money. Um, uh, so. um let's see. Oh, okay. So where do you want to go next? Because we I have a, I have a, I have a list. Well, we've here. been talking all bad news, and we're forty three minutes into this thing. Let's well, talk some good news. Uh, Disney announced the the name of their their new ship. Okay. <laughs> You don't want to go to Disney? Sure. But, okay. No, I want to. We started talking about so, private islands and we. And we oh, go and for we, it. Where do you want to go? That's why I threw wanna, you to you and you I gave wanna, it to me. So I, I was just cruise. going. All right. Well, I just mentioned Disney. So let's at least I go with that cruise. now and then we'll go back to you. All right. Go ahead. Go so with um, the Triton class of cruise ships is now, is this their third? They have the Disney Wish, their, the Disney Treasure. Be their third. And now it is going to be the Disney Destiny. Now, the cool part about that ship. Is they're kind of theming it a little bit, right? So they're going to go with a little bit of good, a little bit of evil. Yeah. Who doesn't love a good villain these days? So uh, that's why you like us, right? A little, little bit, a little bit of good and evil, right? Who's, who's the nice one? Um, we could, we could let that be a poll in the community group. <laughs> I'm so totally amazing. Nice There's no question. There's no doubt. All right. If you had to pick, no, we're not going to do that to you guys. No, we can totally do that to you guys. Who's the good? Who's, who's, who's the good and who's the evil between Brian and I? Oh, so Mary Ellen had a, said good news. The Jubilee was amazing last week. And a lot of good news coming off the Jubilee because we heard recently that one of our favorite fun squad members Gabby is actually getting the blessing. She's going to be heading up to be a cruise director, interim cruise director. She's going on vacation, and then she's going to be uh, she's going to be on the Carnival Glory. That is super uh, exciting because we director, really do. So. We really enjoyed her. We really like her, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rob, Rob says Bro Caribbean's getting their uh, Azapods the same place Wiley Coyote gets his things to catch the Road Rider from Acme. That's funny. That's good. That, that's quick. That, that was good, Rob. <laughs> Quarter of the night, you get, you win, you win a, you win, you you win a, you win a trip to Hawaii. Oh, good, you're already there. Um, I need more water already. I've been like, I've gone through this entire. All right, cup. so let's talk private islands just for a half a minute here because mm -hmm. um, is, as can exciting, I get more water while you yes, talk? That? As exciting yeah. as it is that um, Disney's coming out with another new ship, um, that's going to be their third ship in that Triton class. You're going to have your 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 wish, your treasure, and your destiny, but. Celebration Key. Celebration Key is Carnival's new private destination that's going to be uh, available in July of 2025 because uh, they've announced that now Celebration Key is going to have five what they're calling portals. Uh, and in those, yeah. so it, it's going to have, there's going to be an adult only area, there's going to be a family friendly area, there's going to be all these. And they announced the first two areas today, or was it today or was it this week? Either way, the first two areas. Been within the last uh, it's going to be hours, Paradise like, Plaza, which is going to be their like entryway. They described it as an Instagrammer's delight. They're going to say that there's going to be a great, great place to take pictures there. And then the other place that they announced is going to be called Calypso Calypso Lagoon. I mean, you know, ah, you've been doing, he's been doing that all night. I did it. He's like um, Calypso Lagoon. <laughs> See, we we're terrible at cruise news. This is. This, um, <laughs> We like talking about cruising, though. So, uh, but so the Calypso Lagoon is going to have uh, a family friendly area. It's going to have uh, an adults only area. There's going to be a swim up bar. Uh, it looks like that the, from the, the artist renderings that they shared on Carnival's site, it appears that the swim up bar area is going to be, have these like swings. So the swim up bar is not actually going to be in the water. So for those of you hoping for some warm water over by the uh, swim up bar, you might be a little bit out of luck. Well, I mean, or you're going to see some, some dribblings it. or something. I don't know. But <laughs> uh, Shana, is Celebration Key different than Freeport? Yes. So Celebration Key is going to be uh, Carnival's private destination. And it's going to be similar to Coco Cay, similar to Labadee. It's going to be, but it's outside of it's outside of a uh, of Freeport. So it's yeah. going to be. I don't know if they'll still be docking in in Freeport, but if it's going to be their own, they're yeah. building a they're building a pier there. There's already a phase one and a phase two planned for the pier. Now, I mean, there's a lot we could talk about with Celebration 
K or Salvation K or it's K. whatever. Well, Caribbean is the only one that messes up and calls it K, but that's just because it rhymes. <laughs> whatever. Uh, but let's but so let's talk about Royal Caribbean for a minute because they have a private beach club opening up in Nassau. Not once, but twice, maybe thrice. We'll go with once. So so Nassau, we know that that's happening. That, Paradise that's, Island. That's definitely happening. Mm -hmm. 17 acres uh, reserve. They, they they signed all the paperwork with mm -hmm. the Bahamas. Uh, they're, it's it's being built. It's, that, it's yeah, happening. It's, it's happening right it's now. It's yep. happening. As we speak. Um, well, probably not now because it's 949 at night. And... Oh, I'm sure they're still working on it. Eh, uh, it's the Bahamas. So where else are they going? Uh, so the new one that's announced is Cozumel. So they said that they're going to be building a private beach club uh, in Cozumel. It sounds like it's going to be an additional charge. Okay, everybody, just calm down, calm down, calm down. It's going to be an additional charge for that beach club, but it's going to be a private destination in Cozumel. Yep, Tony yep. Diaz has got it. And um, we've heard some grumblings. Now, the Bahamas is supposed to be opening in 2025. Cozumel, I believe, is 2026. Now, let's, let's just throw it out there in the chat. Has anyone heard of any other private destinations yes, opening Tony up says opening 2026 up in uh by royal caribbean any other places other than nassau and cozumel because we've heard a few grumblings and let's let's see if anybody else is before we say it we'll see if anybody else out there has uh yep. has heard the same thing that we've yep. heard also cozumel yep sugar cozumel is 2026 mm -hmm. yep so you got uh, paradise mm -hmm. island in 2025 cozumel 2026 there may be one more and the, so we're hearing this potential. There's mm -hmm. talks yeah. uh, that there could be there could be a third. Uh, Shana says, "Do you know if there will be uh, AI for the beach clubs?" Um, don't know. <laughs> Tony says, "Tony says hey. Asia. Asia is a good guess, but we we're hearing uh, not Shana Asia. says yep. Jamaica, not Jamaica." Uh, Rob says, "If it's cheaper than Paradise Beach Club, I might go there." Uh, you never know. I mean. It, listen, I'll tell you what. If your deluxe drink package is going to work at these beach clubs. No, hold on. I really enjoy supporting the locals. And hopefully these beach clubs still will support the locals with like having them have vendors in there and bring in. And, you know, even when we go to Coco Cay, there's still vendors that come in and, and Katie gets her hair braided. Like, mm -hmm. There's still things that are that support the local community because – I, I want to make sure that we're not just supporting the cruise lines. Like I really do. I also really enjoy getting out and immersing myself in the local culture. Like, and I think that's important to to us too with the kids. We want them to experience that. So let's just preface that. We do love a good private destination. We do love a good um place. It depends on but we also really enjoy going to these places too. So I think it, it mm -hmm. accents a cruise when you get to go. So um, I, we don't, nobody, nope, nope, not Cuba. So let's just, let's just say what, let's just say so what we, we have, heard. We're we not going to tell you our sources, but we're going to, we're just, we are going to We have say, heard, and, and, and this is total wrong. Uh, we don't so know. This is not confirmed. Feel free to spread it all over the internet. You know, um, not confirmed. We don't know for we right. We could totally be just spreading horribly wrong news, but. We have heard that the talk is St. Thomas. So. I don't know where the land would be. I've been to St. Thomas only <laughs> once, and it looks pretty, pretty kind of full in that port area. Times. So I don't know exactly um, where they would well, put it. I can um, think of a couple places, but uh, yeah, no, so potentially St. Thomas could could have a private destination by Royal Caribbean as well. So, so, so there's so this secret so there's, cruise news. Hmm. All right, so we so you we heard it here, about, guys. Well, if it's true, and if it's not, hey, listen, I'm not taking any ownership on that. Well, uh, so let's 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 just do. So Sugar says, "I stay with the locals. We need to support them, and we agree." Yeah, I totally agree. Um, I and I enjoy I enjoy talking to them. <laughs> Tony says, "I think I know who to ask." <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, can, mm -hmm. can, can confirm our uh, our rumors, confirm or deny. So we we will say this: we do need to st stick with the locals to support them. I mean, the prices of cruising is going up. I mean, you you pulled some numbers earlier today. Yeah. So. That, the 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 numbers that I'm hearing are that 2024 pricing for a cruise is up about 20% from 2019. 
So and we all know that the prices are going up. Like, and you know, it's really hard when you're talking to, 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 to friends, to good people that you know, and they're calling for quotes or they're calling for a night, you know, they, they want to go on a trip and they're just not understanding why it's so much more expensive. And I don't care what ship you're going on. It doesn't have to be the newest, biggest, greatest ship. Everything is up everywhere. And it's really hard to explain mm -hmm. that. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just, it's across the board. Guys, cruising is up. And they're saying for 2025, pricing is up about 50%. So, I mean, the cruise lines have also said, and there, there's no denying this, like there's no hiding it, there's no whatever. Book as early as you can. You're going to get the cheapest, best deal as soon as that opens up. Now, using a travel agent is always great because a lot of times they will have access to things like like group rates. Now it doesn't mean that you're going on a group cruise. They might just have access to a, a lower rate. This isn't a deal. This is just an access to a rate that they have. Um, but guys, you know, the days of, of cheap cruising, I think are gone. When, when sailings first open up, uh, that's when you're going to get your, your best pricing. Um, what, what we'll do as agents is we'll, you know, we'll figure out which which ships we think people would be interested in. Yeah. We'll try to hold some hold some group space, uh, and that means we can lock in those those early rates that you can get a little bit later. Now, we've done that uh, for our November group cruise. We've also uh, done that if you want to plan a little bit further out and you want to head out with us in July of 2025. We're going to be going out of Miami uh, with the Sharon at Sea uh, travels. <clears throat> we're going to be doing a well, five day on the Carnival Sunrise, um, and we're which be... is a fantastic ship. Yes, we've been on that ship. Have you been on that ship? I've been on that I ship like three or four ship. times. Uh, but it wasn't the sun. It wasn't called the Sunrise at the time. It was a Carnival. Mm -hmm. Was it the? What, it was a Triumph. Triumph. They used to triumph. do the Triumph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been on the ship a few but, times. I love it. But what we're going to be doing there is so we're going to be going to Nassau. We're going to be going Half Moon Key, and we're going to be going to Grand Turk. Uh, but the reason I bring this up. Other than the fact that I want all of you to come with us and I want you to call us as soon as the stream is over and book it, um, is we talked about those rates and we do have some rates, but those rates do expire. We can't hold these rates forever. Um, yeah. So you get you get in early, you get that little bit of a deposit down, you set up your payment plans. Uh, yeah. we, we have people booked on Star of the Seas before it's even coming out and we've set up payment plans for them. We Rural got Caribbean, it. Caribbean, can, you can set up up to 10 payments. We're, we're, I'm, gonna, I'm, I won't, I'm just going to throw it out there. We are booked on Star we already are. and we got a better rate on Star than we can on Icon right now. Mm -hmm. Star's not even out yet. So, you know, look around guys. It, the do, deals do exist. But like this is another thing in cruise news recently this this within this past week is talking about how cruising and i think it may be because prices are are rising or because they want to make it more easy and accessible there shorter cruises shorter cruises are in we're, we're going to these three and these four day cruises more naturally and easily um our next you now it seems to be the trend six and a five yeah it seems to be the trend now like those used to be the really quick getaways back in the day, but now the it's booze almost, cruises. It's almost like it's like they're leaning towards it. And if you want a longer cruise, you can do a back to back. back, -to -back. Now, I didn't think seven days was enough on Icon. No, I mean there's so much to do on that ship, so I could totally imagine doing a seven day back to back on Icon. So like Utopia coming out being these three and these four days. Um, if you're if, well, and if you're, I mean, if you're in Florida and you can do these three and four day, that you know, all all the all the better to you. Um, or if you're coming from further away, you just got to start looking at doing maybe a, a back to back on some of these shorter ones. Yeah. Um, but um, you know, we are booked on Utopia. We are, which on is Utopia, a short, yeah. which is a short cruise. We are booked for our group cruise in November, which we want you all to come with us, and that's uh, that's a six night from Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm on the freedom of the season then scrolling down at the bottom of the screen there you get your carnival sunrise july of 2025 that, uh well listen they need the information this is important because the other thing i wanted to touch on is the fact that sugar said you know supporting the locals and you mentioned supporting the locals mm -hmm. as the prices of these things go up we're giving enough of our money to the cruise lines so one of the things that we've come to really enjoy doing is we make good relationships with the uh the vendors in the ports and whether you're booking through a Viator or a shore excursion year or any of these things, we like to find those local vendors 
uh, that, that you can trust and have a little bit of faith in. And we know there's plenty of them in, in Roatan. We know there's plenty of them in Nassau and in Cozumel. And, um, you know, <clears throat> when we do our group cruises, we try to reach out to these people and try to throw them our business. So yeah. um, if you are coming on one of our group cruises before you plan anything, uh, make sure you touch base with us. We'll see if we can get you in connection with one of these local vendors yeah. uh, that we trust. Or, or, that we or an with. excursion that we're going on and, mm -hmm. and we'll bring you along with us. Yeah. So. Yeah, we we love the group excursions. Uh, sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. We are looking at it for November. We are looking at it for July, but uh, nothing is official in stone yet. Oh. So but get your credit cards ready just in case. So 117. 117 is Utopia, right? Utopia. That's Utopia. So 117 days to Utopia. So well, at least our count, we, our count dropped down a little bit. Before we log off, well, should we? We still have other things. I was. We're not long enough yet. Everybody go get another drink. Hit the bathroom. No, come on back. we don't have long. Um, listen, listen, listen. We're not going too long. Um, okay, <clears> what about... Um, Let's talk a little drama. Yeah. Let's talk drama. Okay, drama. Who likes to put their mattress out on your balcony? Has anybody done that? Has anybody? Apparently, it's a big thing this week. Apparently, I, there's a viral the image big, going this, around. I know. Um, and what's funny is if you follow any of the like the like the Facebook threads uh, or Shana the, says remember to hit the thumbs up before you leave, but nobody's allowed to leave yet. Or the Instagram threads. Like if you follow some of these threads that like where people are talking about this, other people are posting pictures of what they've done. So like this isn't just this couple who decided to throw their mattress out on the balcony and lay there out and sun themselves. Other people have been doing this. And then some people say no, they take the couch cushions and they put them out there. Now, I I I am being completely honest. I have seen those floor. I I have no problem walking barefoot out there, but like I don't want to put the couch cushions. I don't want to I certainly don't want to put the mattress out there. It's not that clean. And that's just oh gross. Well, that's not where I'd go with it. I mean, I mean like it's just it's not right. That's not what you do. Why would you I mean there's lounge chairs out there. Not, Just lay on the listen, lounge chair. Right? I'm not. I'm not. Well, I, maybe I am judging. Okay, fine. I'll call a spade a spade. I'm judging. I don't want to be in the room after the people who put their mattress out on the balcony. I don't want to be sleeping on that mattress. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> what? I, you're scaring me because I don't know you, where I don't know where you're going right now. You've stayed in a hotel before, right? You've stayed on a cruise ship before. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you think that everybody that was in those rooms before us was like super clean? I don't I don't want to think about that. So a mattress on a balcony makes you think of that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that that balcony is probably cleaner than half of the other stuff that's probably happened thanks, in those hotel thanks, rooms. Thanks for putting that in my head. Because <laughs> I live in a happy place. I live in a happy bubble. Does anybody else out there live in their happy bubble? Like, I just want to be in my happy bubble. I don't want to think about oh, those things. I don't want to think about anybody else. Like, oh, come on. Listen, Bed bugs exist. Bed bugs happen. Like it, it happens. Oh, I do like, look for bed bugs. I, I look for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, Rob says he's on drink number five. Well, we'll 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 allow. I'm that. on my second tall water glass we'll, tonight. We'll, we'll allow that only because you're six hours behind us, so uh, you have time to get. Catch Listen, up. I'm, I'll be fair. I, this is my second tall glass of water, and I think I had about three Gatorades uh, today too. I'm very, I'm trying to hydrate. Jimbo, oh here, I gotta get. I it. do I'll have Brian. You have your drink, but I so I'll say this. This oh, I, do I do have my martini here on the side that I just haven't been sipping because uh, Jimbo I'm not, wants I'm not to know. It tonight. Where where the uh, cruise countdown thing came from? Uh, that is probably the last uh, good uh, gift I got for Julie. Uh, that that's from Etsy. Um, I should I should say I've made it myself. Does that mean I I'm due? I don't have that kind of talent. It means I'm due for another one. Mary Allen, I'm with you, Julie. I'll buy you one more block so you can put further. And Mom, she says she brings Lysol. 
<clears throat> you know what, mom, you told, so, so my mom told me this once and you said that, I think it was somebody that, that you used to know or work with or something. They would bring like little, um, little bottles or they would buy or purchase the little, like the little shooters of vodka and use it as like to sanitize things like toilet seats or like sinks and things like that, because you can buy them. It's pretty inexpensive. It's pretty cheap and it disinfects. So that, that's a, that's a little tip out there. Right. Am I, am I right, mom? Did you, you told me that once, right? Yeah. Uh, Vodka. Rob, Rob says he's thinking about rigging up a hammock. One of the places that I really enjoy rigging up a hammock, what we'll do is we'll book, we'll book two boardwalk balconies uh, for, for us and the kids, like across the way, and we'll throw a line across and we'll set up a hammock in the middle and just sleep in the middle, like under the zip line. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> oh, Richard, um, isn't Utopia trip a gift for Brian? No, not from Brian, for Brian. His birthday is the next day. I'm, I think we're going on Utopia Richard, for his birthday. Rich, Richard knows how it goes. Richard knows. No, 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 no. Richard I'm knows. taking you on Utopia for your birthday. You are. Uh, by the way, mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes, mom, you, you asked earlier. You have the are kids. The kids aren't going. <laughs> Actually, she might be off that week. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, you might be Shana off that says week. the hammocks on Virgin do look nice. Didn't we see hammocks on the Carnival of Venetia too? And those uh, ter terrazzo suites? Yeah. No, th those, th mm -hmm. So has anybody, no. So I know that a couple people in the chat have been on the Venezia. See, hold on, hold on. Nancy agrees with me. It's not written anywhere that you can't string a hammock across the boardwalk. It's not a rule. It's not a rule. I got nothing. Not a rule. I got nothing. Um, no, but so a couple people in the chat have been on the Venezia. We want to get on the Venezia. We've been on for the naming ceremony, but haven't sailed on her. Uh, beautiful, beautiful ship. But... I'm curious because I would love to stay in those terrazzo rooms. I don't know if I would. I know that the, the glass is like, is you can't, it's not transparent. So you can't see through it. So like, I'm not worried about people being able to see into your like room or anything, but like, I don't know if I would enjoy people walking right in front. Cause there's a, there's a walkway that goes right in front of your balcony. And there's actually, you have to use your key card to get into your room because people could literally just jump over the wall there and walk into your, if, if, if it wasn't like a key card thing. Um, and they have a hammock and they have lounge chairs, but it is like right there with a walkway between the edge of the ship. I don't know if I'd like that or not. I would love to experience one of those rooms for the experience that I would like, like a three day or a four day sailing on. Because uh, I don't know Mary if I'd Ellen like. Says I don't she's know if I'd like. Not twice, and Kevin says <clears throat> there might be someone you know on there, December sixth. We know Kevin. He told us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so no, this you know, being that that ship home ports up by us, uh, that's that's, that's right. Uh, if you okay, so we we know at least four or five people in our chat that have been on the Venencia. Let's go rate it on the if you've been on the Venencia, rate it on a scale of. Uh, one to ten, ten being the best, one being um, meh, not so much. Hmm. <laughs> uh, how 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 much did you like the Venencia? I'm curious. Uh, Mom, what would you rate it? Okay, well, Mom's we, got, a nine. we got a nine. I a nine. I we got a nine. I love the Venezia. Mary Ellen, what do you give it? So how about I mean, uh, Shayna? What what do you guys give it? Um, Mary Ellen gives it a nine. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, we really, I I thought it was gorgeous. I loved it when we were on it. Like, and I would definitely love to, to do a Terraza. Um, uh, Mary Ellen says we know more than one person on December 6th. Mary Ellen, are you going back ooh. on December 6th? Um, awesome. Shana says beautiful ship up probably seven. Okay. seven. Okay. okay, still a really good higher rating. What would you rate the icon? We were just on Icon. Anybody else that's been on, in, in the chat that's been on Icon? Rate the Icon. Um, I know what I would rate it. What do you rate the Icon? So <clears throat> if I rate it. All right, I'll go over it. If I rate again. it for, for current ships on the sea, mm -hmm. I have to. Uh, cause, because what I've said about Icon is that it's almost like they read the comment cards. 
and they fixed everything that people complained yeah, about. Yeah, you've said that before. And I, I agree. Like, they definitely zoned in. They definitely tuned in to so their customer. It, it, <clears throat> Tony says a two. Are you talking about Venezia or Icon, Tony? Two for the Venezia or two for Icon? But um, I, I would have to say just because I just I, – I can't give anything a 10. I can't. So I have to go nine. Yeah, I, I think I'd give it a nine too. And I kind of agree with you. Like, I don't know if I want to give anything a 10 because I think that there's always like room for improvement or there's there, always well, something there were things, that can be bigger or better or whatever. There, there, were, there were some things that I did think could have been done better. Um, but yes, that's a, that's a, that was a good, that was a good ship. All right. So. Um, I, think I, I think I'd give Icon a nine. Um, I think I'd give, what, how about, so, okay. But while we're on this. What do you give Oasis? Because that's the ship that we've been on the most. That's why I went there. Now, it's funny. Even though I rate Icon higher, Oasis is still my favorite ship, and I would give Oasis the 8. I think I give Oasis, and I think it's because she's showing her age. I love Oasis. I love Boardwalk. I love, I think I give Oasis. You come on here tonight wearing your glasses, and then you complain in about Oasis showing her age. I still love you. Um, <laughs> I give Oasis, I think I give Oasis a seven. I do. And I'd give Harmony an eight because I like Harmony more than I like Oasis. Um, and we haven't been on Symphony yet, but that's going to change because Symphony is coming up to Jersey. Uh, Tony Diaz, Oasis is, is his favorite also. Uh, Shane says Oasis is an eight. Love Playmakers. Uh, Mom says Oasis is a nine. Mary Ellen goes 10 for the celebration. Celebration is a great ship. What do you give celebration? I, I give celebration a nine. I again, and I, I have a hard time giving a 10. Like, I don't know. Like, if, if I was gonna give on. anything you a 10, mean, I would give Icon a 10, but I'm not gonna celebration give it. over Oasis. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think I do give celebration. And again, I, because it's showing its age, I gave Harmony a higher. Um, but I think wow, celebration. You're tough. I, well, hey, listen. Wow. Well, I suppose I should have expected that. <laughs> Julie points out my flaws all the time. So. <laughs> Uh, I love you. Matt says 10 for Oasis only because of our first ship memories, y'all. Hey, Matt. I, I do love Oasis. I, we, I, and Oasis, I have been on Oasis the I most. I still stand it, by Oasis. It's the original game changer. It was advertised it, yeah. as that and it fulfills. We its almost prophecy. went on Oasis for our honeymoon. Oasis You're came right out in twenty in, in two thousand and nine. We got married in two thousand and ten. We almost we looked at going right on Oasis for honeymoon, but instead we went on the Pride of America. So and we went out to Hawaii and we and we went out there. Um, not definitely not my favorite ship, the Pride of America. And I could go. That's a whole other life. That one I give Pride of America a yes, two. Yes, Tony. Blast me, take Julie's crown and anchor card away. And she's emerald too. Do you believe that, Tony? Oh my. Oh my. No, I'm oh I, my. I'm like three days away from uh from my diamonds. So <laughs> hey, we Ugh. say it all the time. We are non-denominational cruisers. And tonight we, yeah. we got to talk about uh we talked a lot about stuff going on with Carnival. We talked about a lot of stuff going on with Royal Caribbean, uh, some awesome hey, new beach clubs we going just, on. Hold on. I know you're wrapping it up, and I know that we've wow. been going a long time, and I know it's time to wrap it up. But I do want to just mention the statue of David. So, oh Jesus, <laughs> Brian's like, you can't believe we're going to talk about that. I was, but that wasn't Julie has this her week. notes, and I was trying to get away from that. <laughs> He's like, can we not talk about that? So, the statue of David, yeah, you know, the the naked guy, where you can see all his bits and pieces. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, it's after 10 p.m. It was now, so in you can the talk about that. it was in the food venue. On the Carnival Pride. Now, I'm just going to preface. The Carnival Pride is the ship that hosts the nude cruise also. Not well, like once a year. That's definitely so, one where you got to bring your life. You know, I don't know if that's why they had the Statue of David or not. But the Statue of David was on there. Um, they they did take it. They, they, they took it. They moved mm -hmm. it to storage. But it's now going to the Friends. So it is going to be on the Carnival. Did you say Friends or Friends? Friends. 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 
Um, but it is going to go to the Cardinal Forense. I think it totally belongs there because it's very, you know, that Italian-esque, very, like, I love that feeling of, I, I just, the, the um, Venencia is just beautiful. And I love the art on that ship. So I think that the, that the Statue of David definitely belongs on the Forense or, yeah, Friends, Friends, Forense. Uh, but. Um, yeah, it's it's coming off the pride. So yeah. I'll just wrap that up with our cruise news from this well, week. Well, well. So we ha we do have to go back just real quick because we do have to throw props because uh, Sugar's saying Carnival Celebration was a great ship, great drinks, and a great cruise director. We did get to experience uh, the celebration uh, with Lee, who has uh, he won the, the cruise so director awesome. of the year. Guys, um, if we we and and Lee went out of his way like to like he, we met up with him a couple times when we were on that ship and and got to say hello to him and it just what a, an amazing <laughs> cruise director. What are you laughing <laughs> at? <laughs> Poor David, he belongs in the funnel. I hope he belongs <laughs> in the funnel that's on fire. <laughs> Oh, hey, boy. He'll oh, be fine on the friends. Now we're getting now we're getting punchy. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's getting late, guys. Um, but such a fun time, such a fun, such a fun thing. So if you haven't already, come over and join our community group and let us know what you want us to talk about. Mm -hmm. Next now, now next Sunday is Easter, guys. Uh we pro we're leaning towards probably not being live, but who knows? You never know with us. Because we don't have any bigger Easter plans this year. Yeah, no, nothing major this um, year. And usually and, by, and night, time, and by the, nighttime, the whatever. So anyway. maybe we'll just come on for fun. I don't know. I don't know. If, if you guys want us to come live, let us know. Uh, if you're going to be doing other things, But in the that's meantime, make sure you book those two group cruises with us. And, you know, we're, we're knocking on the door of uh of some of some milestones with our instagram and with our tiktok so if you're uh if you're not a member of the community group over on facebook if you're not following the instagram or the tiktok yet uh please just go check those out that's where we put a lot of our nonsense just our fun stuff so um just uh follow us on there share it with a friend and uh we'll see you maybe next week maybe two weeks from now but uh your assignment for then is to, to book a cruise with us and uh bring a friend next time and uh or post pictures of where you're going absolutely. or where you've been so until then see you on seas <laughs>